Um, you, you, your martial arts technique is like a toolbox. You open it up and you want as much from any other art that you've studied in the toolbox with whatever we, you can get out of this. And if you have a toolbox and it seems full, um, get a bigger toolbox. Now I got room for that. Just throw it in there. When you change the way you're fighting, it's confusing to the other fighter. It makes him think. Once he starts thinking, he's not really in his game. It's good that he's smart and he can't think. But that's not where he wants to be. He wants to be controlling you where he doesn't think. Okay. You're on your back. Okay, I just knocked this guy down. I'm here. I'm here in what Judo Kesigatami, close to side guard, and um, Brazilian. This is, a pl this is a place of transition for me. Um, I can't really finish him from here unless I'm going to some. So from this place, most guys are expecting you to put pressure on him to try to mount. All right? Some are not looking out for Ude Garami with the leg. Here. Submission one. Number two, I'm going to bring, I'm going to tighten up my heel so this, he can't straighten his arm anymore. And I'm going to pin him with my head, but use my hip to break his shoulder instead of this pull. This pull is choking him because it folds his windpipe, and it's submitting him because it's also tearing the front of his rotator cuff. Let's see those again. Okay, we're here. I push his arm down, hook it with my leg, and I pull. One submission. I'm open to hook, head hook here. If he hooks my head, and I and I don't release this, he'll still be. I'll submit him. Just keep my chin stiff and just keep pulling. He will submit. All right. Let's see it again. I'm in case he can me. I'm gonna, or side mount. I'm gonna push his arm down now and just pull straight back. Number two, I'm gonna tighten this up here with my head down because he's striking, he's hooking, he's flexible. And I'm gonna submit him with my hip by bringing my hip up off the ground and standing on my two heels like this. Watch my hip. That's one way. The other way is to pull straight back. If he hooks my head with his left leg, let's say his left leg can hook me, I'm going to hang on to this and keep submitting him and have confidence in it because his leg's going to give me power. Most guys, though, will let go and abandon this. All right? So, we're on the side. We have a straight arm bar with both legs here. Then we have number one, Ude Garami, head pull. Number two, tighten this up, head down, submit him with my hip bone. Then I want to learn this. I want to re-scissor in practice. Scissor this, go chest to chest with him, submit him with Ude Garmi with his hand up. If his hand's down, he's trying to push off. Good. Let him push off. Grab that wrist. Now turn away from him. And now you submit him by tearing under, underneath the shoulder here. Let's see that again. If his hand is up, pin it. Maybe he's trying to bring his gut up in the air. Take that hand here. Let's say he puts his hand like this and he's pushing and he's turning at me to roll over me this way. That's fine. Wherever he sets himself to turn, you're going to take advantage. So if he puts his hand down like that, just take it and submit it this way. If he has it down because he's going to push into me, take it just that way and roll away. Each time, I'm just rolling down or up. So there's five. Five arm bars. Straight here. Ude Garami one, two, tuck and down hip. I reset my scissors so I don't break his arm here. If his hand is this way, I take it and break this way. If it's this way, I take and break that way. Five arm bars. Okay, let's go through those one at a time. Just the arm bars. There's a lot more. Let's just do the five arm bars. Let's get your partner and do that. 